to excuse the um, singing you might be able to pick up it's the old folks home up the road's got a singer in wailing away uh, but I saw an opportunity for a quick video here because I've been asked this question a couple of times by some folk so hence the uh, shaky cam I shall do my best to keep it steady I wasn't planning on doing any filming today um, I've been asked a few times well not just me but I've seen us several times on forums and things what are rider plates uh, knuckle rider plates as what I tend to hear them called for the most part um, and I was just putting them into these gauntlets that I'm doing and I thought I'd uh, quickly show you with one hand unfortunately so I shall do my best but we'll see where we go so the rider plate sits inside the gauntlet it's not in all gauntlets um, it sort of has its time in the sun um, but it's this plate here that you can see when the hand is clenched it does that and it gives you an expansion I think foremost of when you do that because metal clearly can't stretch in, in this sense uh, and in fact our skin doesn't you know if you look at the folds on my hand uh, on the knuckles the skin isn't stretching so much as unfolding so all that compression you can see there in my knuckles is what is needed to be able to do that shape and without that uh, expansion and compression or contraction on the skin I'll do something like that and all my um, fingers would pop out the end of my fingers would be incredibly painful and um, spoil my evening um, so we've got this expansion that happens in the folds of our skin and the metal has to mimic that somehow you can't just make incredibly long fingers it's, you do tend to make the fingers a little longer than real fingers or at least that, that's what I tend to do um, to help with that because you kind of want to make the glove about in that position but if you had incredibly long fingers when he uh, straightens his hands again he'll have them lifting off of his hands and it'll be uncomfortable um, so what this the rider plate allows for is it was a solution for a while that allows for that movement to be able to happen uh, there's no gloves under here so you're a bit limp wristed at the minute but um it allows for that to happen it also has um, some byproducts as well that are interesting it makes making the finger a bit easier because you just attach your fingers to the plate and then the plate goes in to the gauntlet which is why you see these holes sometimes up on the edges of uh, the gauntlet there you, go, you can see both there uh, which is why you see those sometimes when, when it's in the museum you go oh look what's that hole for that's what it's for it's for the rider plate to sit inside um, so what it would mean is if fingers get damaged and stuff you've only got to grind away or remove two rivets and you can take the fingers off you can replace the leather glove inside perhaps you can do maintenance and all of that sort of stuff. I don't think it was developed for that. I think that was a happy um, byproduct of it. But there you go, just a, a short sort of well, three minutes and nine second video on um, rider plates and, and where they're found in the knuckles, what they're for. I don't know that they were essential. Um, they, like I say, they sort of fall in and out of fashion, have their time in the sun and then disappear. But that's where you find them. You can sometimes see them on effigies, clear as day. Um, they're there. Sometimes they're, they're big, sometimes they're a little strip hidden away up in the knuckles and you don't see them at all um, so sort of buyer beware make sure you're doing the right thing for the correct period and so on but there you go that's what a knuckle rider plate is where you can find them and a couple of the reasons that they may well have existed so i uh, hope that was useful and I, i'm returning shortly to proper videos and making and stuff because uh, i've got my lights on the way thank you very much for the support everybody there on the um, coffee page we sort of made it to the target although they put the price of the lights up which is great but there you go um, it's the way things happen sometimes so thanks for your support on that and uh, we'll get back to making some hopefully uh, lit, well lit videos um, shortly so uh, take care and I'll uh, catch you on the flip flop <laughs>